pain was interfering with Tiffany's active lifestyle. Same-day hip replacement at the Adena Orthopedic and Spine Institute got her back to the community she calls home. At Adena, we do what we love, so you can too. We're at the Pickaway Agricultural Events Center, of course, here in Circleville, Ohio, getting ready for the Pickaway County Fair with Christy Pence. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. It's a, uh, boy, it's amazing how quickly a year goes by. It seems like you were just closing the fair. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, I actually thought I semi-retired last year because my daughter's volleyball was taking over and um, here I am. They can't get rid of me or I can't get rid of them. I'm not sure which it is, but here I am happily um, at another fair. I'm excited. Yes. June 15th is when the gates open, so to speak. Yep. Um, that's a lot of free stuff during the weekend. You start charging at what point in time? Yeah, so our daily admission actually starts on Monday the 17th, and that'll run through when we close on Saturday the 22nd. But on Saturday and Sunday, anybody can come and walk around. That's actually a really good time to see the exhibitors' animals and walk through the barns and get to talk to them and the families and learn about their animals and their projects and see all that they've been doing with them and get to get a chance to talk to them, which is really cool. Um, plus, we do have some food vendors that'll be open. We have some, some entertainment on Sunday as well as our opening ceremony um, at 6.30, followed by our annual homemade cake and pie auction, which benefits our Junior Fair Board and uh, also our king and queen contest that evening. That is always huge. Uh, and of course, will you have that at the amphitheater again? We sure will, yeah. We always have a really good crop that I'm always pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Um, but I think everybody really loves coming together as a community and celebrating agriculture and celebrating being together, but more importantly, celebrating our kiddos who have worked so hard um, to, to be where they are here at the fair and have a great experience for them. So people are really enthusiastic to be a part of it. And as we get older, a lot of us had been involved with 4-H and different projects. It's nice to come back and uh, see the other generations along the way yeah. and those coming up. Yep, absolutely. I actually, um, it's, I'm kind of one of, I'm not one of the rare fair board members that actually was not a part of 4-H and FFA. Um, my oldest daughter got invited to 4-H when she was in third grade. And so from then on, we fell in love and off we went. And my husband did some 4-H and FFA um, back in his youth, but um, I just love everything it stands for. I didn't grow up on a farm, but I now live on a farm. So everything agriculture. So that's, that's really what we're about. And it's exciting to see kids being inspired and getting excited and so many of them go on to do agriculture related things as a result of their 4-H and FFA experiences. Uh, for your kids, it's in their blood. It is. Uh, for yourself, you kind of were osmosed into it. Yep. And I imagine that's the same for a lot of folks, especially the ones who live in Circleville. Mm -hmm. I know there are 4-H projects that aren't agricultural mm -hmm. and that keeps them also involved in coming to the fair. Absolutely. We have um, special, special interest judging. Um, so anything from a project you can create on your own. I know my son, of course, he's farm, but he did a farm display one year. It was nothing to do with a project, but it was a miscellaneous project that he could do. My daughter's done photography and scrapbooking. Baking and cooking are huge, um, hugely competitive in the Pickaway County Fair. We have a lot of that going on, um, not only with our junior fair, but actually we have a senior fair also that we get a lot of entries for, um, for the home crafts, the homemaking, the baking, um, all that good stuff. That's where our pies and cakes come from for the auction on Sunday. Uh, where we are right now, there's no sawdust on the floor at this point in time, but it's going to be, and there's going to be a show arena set up, and that is where really it becomes exciting. Yeah, that is probably my favorite, second favorite part of fair. My first favorite part, part of fair is getting to be with my family. Um, we really make it a family um, occasion, so to speak. Um, that's why part of why my husband and I got involved in the fair so many years ago, um, because we want to make it a great experience, not just for our kids, but the community's kids, and we also look at it as generationally our grandchildren and great grandchildren and the community's you know future families as well. So um, yeah, it's uh, what's really special about it though for me is seeing those light bulb moments, um, the pride that the kids have. They've worked on these projects for months, some of them a couple of years, and they step in that show ring and everything comes together, and um, it's just it's. 
it's fun and it's rewarding to see them being rewarded for their hard work and see that excitement and that glimmer in their eye. And um, you can ask most kids who are part of 4-H and FFA and a part of any fair, and they're always gonna say the memories they made at fair were lifelong memories and the friends they made are lifelong friends. And since you've renovated the fairgrounds, it's been extra special, especially for those kids that are being impressed by the things that they do. Because when this was before all this happened, it was, I can't believe our kids have to go through those old buildings and everything. But now that's, what, five years removed. It's yeah. incredible. Yeah, we're going to our fifth year here, which is amazing. Um, yeah, what we got before is, you know, you realize that the buildings, they weren't safe anymore. Um, and it wasn't just about, you know, the kids having better things, you know, it really was about safety. Um, but also recognizing that our junior fair is growing. I mean, we've got over a thousand exhibitors um, that'll be taking part throughout the week. and just having that space um, for them to do the things and things simultaneously going on in the show arena outside, the show arena inside, and down on the other end of this hall, there'll be you know miscellaneous project judging or poultry or rabbits or you know whatever. There's multiple things going on at one time, so we can really jam pack a lot more stuff and have a lot more opportunities, not only for our, our junior fair kids, but also the fair goers with all the things going on. Some of the folks can't get here till the evening. Mm -hmm. That means grandstand entertainment time. Oh, yeah. And so there's motors, there's power, <laughs> everything involved there. Yep. But you start with a rodeo. Yeah. Yeah, so this year we have Rough E Rodeo Productions coming. So when you think of rodeo, it's all the things. It's the barrel racing. It's the uh, bull riding. We've got um, mutton busting for the little ones. We've got, actually got a, a PBR rider being featured. Like It's kind of a big deal. We haven't had a rodeo out here in a few years. So that is going to be a blast. And then, of course, you got an autocross and mm -hmm. all that as well. And wrapping it up with a demo derby. <laughs> you know, it would not be the Pickaway County Fair without all the grandstand things, right? We go everything from our motocross to our autocross to our truck and trailer or truck and tractor pools. And the demolition derby is always like the grand finale. It's it's the probably the, the best attended event that we have. Um, it's the one with probably the most participation that anybody can come and take part in. And it's just a blast to watch and people just ha have a really good time. So yeah, it'll be a big event. And one thing I failed to mention was Junior Fair Night because that gives all the kids an opportunity to really put things on display yeah. and to have competitions. That's right, that's right. So one thing we do that's been a great tradition here at Pickaway County Fair is we have an outhouse race. So um, anywhere from six, eight to 10 of our clubs typically participate in the outhouse race. And it's the most hilarious thing you've ever seen. And they're very competitive and they really put a lot of creativity and thought into it. But it, basically it's an outhouse on four wheels with four people pushing one person sitting inside. And it's a blast. They have a great time and they get, actually, the winners get to earn some money for their club. And the decorations for the uh, houses are out of this world. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, you said, it, it, it's all sophomoric humor. <laughs> Anything you thought of when you were 15 years old. That's right. That's what uh, you see in the yep. decorations. They have a blast with it. And it's super fun to watch. <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. Uh, of course, there's food, entertainment, and everything uh, on the grounds throughout the, uh, the whole week, too. Oh, yes. So um, throughout the day, we've got a couple, actually a couple special days that we're having this year. So on Tuesday and Thursday, that's our kids' days. Each of those days, we're giving away one girl's bicycle and one boy's bicycle, um, compliments of uh, Circleville Qantas and also Circleville Physical Therapy, um, who have graciously donated those. And there's various activities going on throughout the day. Um, kids get discounted wristbands um, from one to five, I believe it is. And then we've got um, on Tuesday for the first time, the live COSI experience, um, which for anybody who's ever been to COSI or seen a COSI assembly, maybe at school, um, it's it's that, but even better. So, um, plus they're gonna do some hands-on activities for the kids as well. There'll be balloon twisting, face painting. Um, we have characters walking around, all kinds of stuff. So kids days will be on Tuesday and Thursday of the fair. 
we have our seniors, we're celebrating our seniors 60 and over on Friday, the 21st. So any senior 60 and over can get in for free. They get a free meal from one of the local churches. There's entertainment, there's bingo. And then we also celebrate our veterans that Friday as well on the 21st. Um, they also get in free with their um, ID and they get a free meal compliments of Quirky Q. Ah, very nice. Yeah. And being over 60 now, I got something for me. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Take advantage of it. <laughs> Is there anything we have missed? Yeah, you know, one thing we're doing that's new this year that we've never been able to do, um, but as um, we've partnered with Kroger Delivery on Saturday the 22nd, they're going to be our day sponsor. And as a result of that partnership, we're offering a $2 discount off of gate admission for anybody who brings non-perishable food items between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. So that's new and different. So not only can people get a little bit of a break on their discount tickets, but even more important, we're gonna make a huge impact for our local food pantries. That's fantastic. Now, of course, the fair comes to a close on the 22nd, but that's not the end of anything here at the fairgrounds. Oh, so you, you've got all types of different events throughout the year, and people can find information about those on your website. Yep, pickawaycountyfair.org. We've got all of our events listed. That is um, actually why I have been brought on staff because our building rentals, it's something almost every weekend. Um, year round, which is really exciting. Everything from livestock shows, which gives junior fair exhibitors, you know, opportunities to show their projects year round before fair comes up. Um, also, some of them do it, that's their sport, right, for year round. So, but there's people that come not just from around the state, but from multiple states and for these events. So it's really great for the commerce of our community, our restaurants, our hotels, all the things um, for the bigger picture. Um, we do weddings, receptions, banquets, fundraisers. Um, we actually host two livestock shows ourselves, um, Livestock Palooza, which now includes pigs, sheep, and lambs. We just had one on Memorial Day. We'll have another one the end of um, October, and I would be remiss to not mention Gunapalooza. Uh -huh. um, that is our <laughs> main fundraiser. That's how we help maintain um, our buildings and keep them looking really nice. 75% um, of those proceeds go back into the revitalization fund. Um, and um, there might be something else coming um, uh, in the next year or so that I can't quite reveal. But uh, <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be sharing more hopefully by fall. Stay tuned, Stay tuned for that. Yeah. Absolutely. We appreciate you opening up. Uh, here, of course, it's all calm right now, but it's about to hit the fan. <laughs> and and uh, for a whole week long, it's going to be continual business, uh, all agriculture and all fun. Yeah. Thank you again for having us here today. Thank you. I appreciate it. And thank you for watching Litter Media.